everybody. It's Gigi and me again. We're in downtown Orlando, and uh, Gigi has some new shades. Yes. She has some tourist trap shades. I have the blue, and she has some so sexy red. It's red, but uh, our logo is uh, blue and orange. But you know, maybe we'll get some orange ones. Yeah. But we're now we're matching. Yes. But uh, we're down here. We're checking out a new place called Tin and Taco. Yes, and it looks so delicious, and it smells so good. I'm starving. You're not starving. <laughs> she, she, she never eats a whole lot when we go to these these food reviews. No. But I don't. Um, uh, this restaurant opened on Valentine's Day of this year. I'm waiting to check this out. I've seen pictures of this online. Yeah. This looks really good. Craft beer, craft tacos, and craft soda. That's yes. what I'm. I'm and we're in the heart of downtown. The flavors, the yeah, the flavors on the craft soda uh, really looked good. Yes, they did. So let's go check out. You got a little menu over here. Let's go look at that. Yeah, let's check it out. And this is the outside here. Me and Gigi, they have a little menu going on outside here. It's they have a pretty big menu. Uh, they got choose your own way at eight dollars. You need to get two tacos, bowl with rice, and one of the things that they had that interested me was this in the bag with a bag of Doritos and they put all the toppings down in the bag. That looked pretty interesting. I think they bring it out on a little tray it tin. Says here, Taco Bomb. I bet it is the bomb. It's got pique de gallo, it's spicy. You might like that, I don't, I don't really like spice. Very tough decisions here, Gigi. Okay, so. I figured this out. It's uh, choose your way, which you're gonna choose whether it's a taco or a burrito or whatever. And then you choose your style on all those other combinations with the boom boom and all that. I'm just hoping they have something that's not too spicy so I can eat it. Let's go in. Okay. I'm interested to try this craft soda. They got a little eat sign here up on the wall, Gigi, with an arrow. It does smell good in here, doesn't it, Gigi? It does smell really good. Notice, notice the um, stove. It's like a regular house stove. It's not an industrial stove. Really? Look at that. Noticing, you know. Well, I know you, industry, you make do with what you got, got right? Yeah. That's yeah, why it's called Craft Tacos, Gigi. Tin and Taco have a large menu. Check them out on the website for sure. They have the uh, craft beer here as well, and uh, fresh guacamole. They have craft soda here, Gigi. We're checking this place out. They have these craft sodas. Craft sodas here, Gigi. It's called Stubborn Soda. And they got a classic root beer, an agave. How do you say that? A gave? A gave? How do you say that? A gave Melina Cream Soda. <laughs> Lemon Berry Akai. And they're out of order on the Pineapple Cream Soda. Boy, that would have been good. Yeah, that been Black delicious. Cherry. And they've got your draft uh, colas here as well. We have some shirts here too of tin and taco. Glasses? Oh, they got some tin and taco glasses. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We, we need those glasses, don't we? There's a tin and taco uh, sign over here too. We want it for here? If we can find a table. What about for you, sir? I want the two tacos. And what do you recommend up here? On the Notorious PIG is one of our, our most popular, uh, along with the chick magnet. Um, but we have several different very popular items. Yeah. I think I'll try the Notorious PIG, I guess. Do you want both that way? Two tacos? Yes. Or you, you can get uh, something different yeah. on the other one? Yeah, if you want to switch it up. Oh, sure. Well, that's a lot of good options. You got a lot of options here. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll try that Bourbon Street on one of them. One notorious PIG and a Bourbon Street? Yeah. He's just making them right there. Oh, that looks good. It looks really good and it smells delicious. Yes, sir. Enjoy. Awesome. Notice, notice their gloves on handling the food. Of so course. Of course. A lot of restaurants don't require it. Exactly. A lot of people don't, uh, a lot of restaurants don't require to wear their gloves and they do wear their gloves here. And notice her hair. He's making my tacos there right now. I got the Bourbon Street and the Notorious P.I.G. And uh, this should be good. 
here's this chandelier with the mason jars. Mason jars, I love it. I went back. It's very industrial. I feel like I went back to Texas. Oh, we didn't tell him what we wanted to drink, did we? No, he said you said you're good. I want to try a craft soda. They do have a big selection of canned sodas over here as well. Looks like Gigi. Oh. Look at the big tin and taco sign back there, Gigi. They don't have a lot of seating area here, but uh, they were lined out the door when we walked in. I have got my tacos. Gigi is getting the craft. She's trying this craft stubborn soda. Stubborn soda. You doing root beer? I'm gonna do root beer. What do you want to do? I want to try that uh, lemon berry. I'm gonna try that lemon berry there. She's trying the root beer. It's uh, she's got us a table back here. And this is probably why they call it tin and taco. And they serve it on a, a little metal tin here. This was some tough decisions. Yes. Gigi, was. what did you get, Gigi? Just the, case, the beer queso dip. Beer queso dip. Beer so it's craft, queso. craft queso beer dip, and she, Gigi's not that hungry. She might have to help me eat some of these tacos. I did get the right there. The I I did get the notorious PIG, which is this one right here, and it looks really good. And this one over here is the Bourbon Street, uh, and you can uh, get these however you want on their different styles. And of course, you can get bowls and burritos. We will have to come back and try that Doritos in a bag thing. This is really good. Very good flavor. How, how's the craft soda tasting? Oh, the craft is good. Like it just did. It. Yeah, this one's good too. Very I got the I got the berry. I got the root beer. She got the root beer. Yes. She's good. a root beer kind of gal. Good. Look up here, look, look up Gigi, look at that, uh, that oh, chandelier, that's, that's a pretty cool that's chandelier. A, a fruit, a fruit in that, that looks like a fruit basket box, um, but that one there is just like some wooden planks. Uh, yeah. But this place is rather small inside, but as you can see it's rather crowded, rather crowded. Very small, limited space to sit. But a big menu. Yes. And it, it is tasty. I've already tasted this notorious PIG. Gigi said my bourbon street looks like an Asian taco there. With, uh, yes, it looks delicious. I'm going to try into this in just a minute on the uh, bourbon street. Well, I have took a bite of this, this other taco, the bourbon street, and the notorious PIG. Unlike any type of taco I've ate before, but it's very, very good. I'm absolutely stuffed here. And it wasn't too much food, it was just enough, but the flavors was awesome. Delicious, extremely delicious. The beer cheese was really good. Your Asian taco, that looked so delicious from this side. And I know you said it was delicious. Flavors were spot on. Also notice they're wearing gloves. Sanitation in the restaurant is really important. This place nailed it. The hair was pinned back. A lot of the places you go to, even five-star restaurants, they don't even have their hair up. So, for sanitation purposes, definitely come here, get some tacos. Um, they have different styles, different spices. Um, for all flavors, or whatever you're desiring to want to eat, definitely come through. But uh, don't plan on staying that long because it's non-stop line, very small, limited space. Maybe this YouTube channel will tell the owner that they expand, make it a little bigger, Maybe go out to, I don't know, the Mall of Manila. Who knows? Is that all right? Mall of Manila? Yeah. You know what, Gigi? Did you used to be a health food restaurant inspector? Well, it I almost never, sounds like you know everything they're looking for. No, because I'm it a pastry does. chef. Yeah. So, yes, definitely. Definitely. I like my food clean, and I used to well, teach you, sanitation. You could, probably get a, you could probably get a job as a restaurant review and go in and shut I'm them down. Clean. I'm the worst critic. I like, don't like nobody touching my food, and you got to be have clean hands. I'm, even when at home, I'd be like, don't touch the food. Can't help it. And it's really nice that they put the put the food on these tins. They put these food on the tins. It's very nice, and that's probably why they call it tin, tin, and taco. 
and this is Tin and Taco, Craft Tacos, Craft Beer, Craft Soda, and it is awesome. Me and Gigi is going back for refills. She's getting some more of that root beer. Third time, third time. It's her third time. She's a refill hog. I'm gonna get that lemon berry again. I'm taking and advantage of breaking my diet. That lemon berry is really good. So I've never had a craft soda. These are really good. It's, Whoa, it's really craft cool. tacos, craft beer, and craft right, soda. Right. Oh my, that was a lot of food. Just right outside here of Tin and Taco. Uh, me and Gigi had a very nice lunch. Very nice lunch. And those people were packing in. They're still coming in. It's been nonstop. The lines has been nonstop and the sanitation the, is spot on. There has not been no uh, there's not been a point while we were in there eating in the last half hour that no one was ever in not in line. No, uh, it's been nonstop. The line moves continuously throughout the day. Yeah, and they are open until three in the morning. Yes, yeah, so after you party. Select, it's on select uh, days. I think there's Probably the weekend. Yes. Uh, I think they're closed on Sunday. Yes. Uh, there's going to be a link in the web on, on this uh, link in the description for their website and uh, Facebook page. But we're in the heart of downtown, and most clubs are here on Orange and Church Street between Washington. So after the clubs get done around 2, um, you can come down here until 3 o'clock and get yourself a, a taco to kind of sober up from drinking so much and partying so hard for the night. Perfect spot to do that. These are not the ordinary taco of Taco no. Bell or oh, no. they this taco was so these both these tacos were very flavorful I think the Bourbon Street was yes. had a little bit more flavor it's kind of an Asian type I had never had a taco like that before in my life yeah that and it was little... absolutely incredible and I ate both of them and all of it yes and, you ate it all and I normally uh, normally there's a whole lot of food we visited a couple places yes. and there was just so much food and I couldn't eat it all so but here uh, but they have so many options, and I only picked two of the options. Yes. And uh, I want to try that uh, taco. Dip next well, time. Well, that and the taco in the Dorito bag thing. They yes. open the open the Dorito bag and put all the toppings down inside the bag. I thought that was really cool. I'd never seen that before. I've seen some grow in there have that, and uh, it looked really good. Well, Taco Bell has the. Uh Doritos tacos? Well, this yeah. one actually made it way better by opening up the bag. Uh, I forget, thought it was cool. Uh, Taco Bell. Forget Taco Bell. Yeah, forget the Taco no Bell. No way. You want no, to go to... you want to come here. You want to come here. This is awesome. Tin and Taco. Yes. Uh, if you're local and haven't figured, found this place out, we're telling you now. Yes. If you're getting ready to visit here in Orlando, come downtown. Check out all the nice shops and eating places we have here in Orlando. There is thousands of yes. places here. I hear the Amtrak coming through. I don't know if they can hear it. I don't think but, they can um, hear me. They probably, no, they probably, they usually can't hear you. Really. They can't hear me anyways. But, but uh, take note, the line is still long. The line is still it's incredible. long. incredible. It's very incredible. Incredible. Well, we're going to go now and go out there and make it a great day. Because you deserve it, baby.